Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am now back home, home from Dubai. I got back late last night. I've been to Pilates this morning. I've currently got a wash on. I've got a hair mask in. That's weird. Uh, ignore that. And I've just got off a call with my management. So we're having a productive start to the day, which is necessary because we have got a hectic week i've actually got a hectic two three weeks i have not got a day free in my diary maybe like one day free two day free two days free in the next three weeks so i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and a bit like oh um so yeah i just need today Plus, I do actually just love the day after holiday just being at home. One, because I just miss my home comforts. And two, I always just feel like there's so much to sort out. So I've got a lot of tidying, a lot of washing to do. To be honest, I'm probably not going to unpack that much because I didn't wear a lot of my stuff that I took to Dubai because naturally I overpacked. So I might just leave a lot of the unworn stuff in the suitcase ready for my trip next week, which is to Marrakesh. That is a big, big group of us. We're going one of our friends' 30ths. So that's going to be like a big friend trip. So yeah, but before then, I have got a work trip to Barcelona this Friday. I'm currently on Wednesday. I have so much to do before then. So, wish me luck. It just feels so nice to be back. Dubai was gorgeous. I've not been in years and it was so nice to be back. I have quite a few friends that live out there and a group of us actually went to this beach club called Drift and as we were sat there chatting, I just had this flashback. Like, the same group was there four years ago before and now one of them's married has a baby on the way another one moved back to australia then came back to dubai and now she's living there again another one was single at the time now has a long-term relationship lives with him and when i was last there i was trying to figure out if i was going to move there this was like four years ago when i was just like where am i going to live because i had to move out my flat and i just had no idea where i wanted to live um but then lockdown happened and that was just a whole a whole different thing Anyway, it was just so mad how everything feels different and you don't realise how much changes over the years. But it's just nuts. And obviously I got to spend time with Em, so that is always nice. We were saying we've literally made the nicest memories this year. Like, it's been a hectic year, but the memories I have made are like unmatched and it's probably up there with one of my favourite summers. For sure. I am quite ready just to like retire, get married and just never leave my house. That is the point I'm at. <laughs> um, but before I can do any of that, ignoring the fact I need to find a man, I've got a lot to do so I can't actually do that right now. Anyway, I'm going to sit and eat my yum yums. I actually got Emily addicted to yum yums without knowing it. And now every day she thinks about yum yums and she hates me for it. So yesterday when we landed, she nipped into MLS and got me some yum yums. So I'm gonna eat those, drink my tea, do my homework, shall I say, all my work that I need to do, put something cozy on the TV and get shit done. It is so bloody cold. <laughs> So, today is finally hair day, which I always look forward to because I feel like a new human once I get my hair all fresh and nice. So, I'll bring you along for that. I'm currently really craving a hair change and I'm a bit of a wimp <laughs> when it comes to my hair. So, I probably won't do it, probably won't do it this time around anyway, but I feel like... I either want to get a few tapes in my hair, make it a bit thicker and just a tiny bit longer, or 
chop it off. But I'm a bit scared I'll look like a boy, so it probably won't be doing that. But I've been toying with the idea in my head. If I just put this one on, yep. Um, but today is just a colour and potentially a cut because it needs it. So I'm probably going to be in the hairdressers pretty much, pretty much majority of my day. And then I'm going to have to come home and pack as I go to Barcelona tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm wearing or what I'm packing. And I've still not unpacked from my last trip. So chaotic as always. Also, I popped into Zara after Pilates this morning because I just needed a new fresh white t-shirt. And I ended up spending like £200, but they had some really good bits in. But I actually need to put this camera on charge, as you're currently on 4%. So let me do that, get ready. Also, it's annoying because I had to wash my hair, but I had a hair mask in. Otherwise, normally I wouldn't wet wash my hair before I go to the hairdressers. The last time you're going to see these roots. Also, I'm just wearing my new favourite Source Unknown jacket i don't know why i'm doing half of the day next to the fridge but here we go some white jeans because i feel like there's not much longer i can wear white jeans in london plain vest top and then new in shoes which i love oh i still got the tag on them but they literally arrived this morning um i'm gonna grab a water p.m. and I'm getting picked up at 3 a.m. in the morning I've not even put one outfit on my body or even packed <sighs> so we've got a lot to do but first I need to eat something I've not really got time to cook dinner so I just got this M&S naked chicken kebab bowl as I thought it would be healthy yummy and easy but now I'm home I don't want something cold but it's gonna have to do and then I also got some carrots and hummus as you can see I'm trying to be healthy I also got a granola yogurt pot for the morning I mean I'm probably not going to be eating at 3am but I thought it was there I'll probably actually end up having that in bed tonight I'm have to do but hair is all done. I just feel like a whole new human with my hair done. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna eat, I'm starving. Also, if I'm talking weird, my ears keep popping. So you know when you can hear your voice through your, like it just feels weird. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick with this. It's not given the wow factor. But sometimes less is more, and I feel like it's sophisticated and simple. And then I'm thinking just with a gold clutch bag to dress it up a little. And then, oh, guys, honestly, it's just a problem for another day. I haven't had time to sort that out. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking a gold clutch bag just to dress it up a little bit. And then the new in earrings. And then some bangles. I'm also gonna pack this top just in case as well, just in case, I don't know, I want to take a bit more flattering. Packing is done. I've actually managed to fit it all in this case. Obviously granted I'm just going for one day. <laughs> um, but, I'm very impressed. I've rolled everything. 
but I don't want these to crease as I'm changing into these when I get there. So that was actually quite a quick outfit planning situation. One good thing about having so many good wardrobe staples and a lot of my clothes are neutrals. It makes it so much easier to style outfits because everything kind of goes with everything. So that is that. Only thing is, I'm going to have to check it in anyway because my liquids, like how are you meant to fit your liquids in that little tiny bag? I tried and I did not succeed. So I'm going to check this in anyway. Um, oh, I should actually figure out how to lock this case because I've never actually done that before. Hmm. Interesting. How do I do that? Okay, I'm gonna have to Google because I've normally it's just my hand luggage. I never actually have to check it in. And then my hand luggage. I've got my book, some beauty bit sunglasses and then just like cameras plugs chargers etc yeah i have my essentials like passport charger and then obviously dino will go there in the morning but i'm gonna head to bed because it's currently 10 p.m i need to wake up at 2 a.m i need to curl my hair but like i'm just gonna do that at 2 a.m is that a terrible idea also i'm worried i'm gonna forget to pack the curler but mental note to pack that so let's go to bed and try and get some kind of sleep okay just ignore the mess around me but i am all ready it's currently 3 a.m don't quite make it out of bed at two but i have showered curled my hair finished packing and i'm ready before my uber which comes should be here in seven minutes i am absolutely cream crackered <laughs> to the room i'm going to give you a quick room tour and then i'll explain what we actually done today because i feel like it probably made no freaking sense at all also that bag looks a lot more exciting than it actually is not to be ungrateful i did buy it for myself but it's just a book <laughs> in case you're thinking give us an unboxing which i will but yeah it's just a book but i thought it was such a gorgeous little memory but anyway room tour first and then we'll talk through so you walk into the room, you've got your wardrobes here, gorgeous little bathroom. I love this marble. This is stunning. And then a lovely shower. Do you know what? I love a shower with a seat. They're underrated. I feel like every shower should have a seat. Sometimes you get a bit tired cleaning yourself. So it's nice to have a little sit down. And then you come into the main room. You've got the gorgeous, the gorgeous bed it's absolutely stunning i've got a lovely balcony 
with a street view. How lovely is that? Some artwork over there, if you can see that. And then a little chair and a mirror. It's honestly so nice. I'll try and show you around. That's not great lighting, is it? I'll try and show you around the hotel a bit more because this hotel is gorgeous. Apparently it opened three weeks ago. So it's brand new. And it's just stunning. Like I would 100% stay here again. And I've not even really worked my way around. But we arrived straight from the airport at like half 10-ish. They have like refresh rooms. So like if you can't check into your room or if you checked out, you can use a room downstairs where you can shower and get ready. So we got ready there. Then we headed straight onto the boat. We're here for the 37th American cup america's cup so a boat race basically which was so fun to be honest we couldn't really see much as we were watching it from a boat but it was just such a nice day out with the whole team and the group here is so lovely obviously i'm here with some of my favorite girls mills Gigi, and loz which is so nice but the rest of the group are lovely as well um had some lunch went to the cupra showroom in the pop-up village and saw the new car which we are actually driving tomorrow but i'll show you that then and now we have just checked in to our rooms so we are meeting at eight for drinks in the lobby and then we're going to what looks like a divine place for dinner so very much excited for that also quick outfit of the day wow can't get my words out i'm so tired i'm running on three hours sleep and one monster monster being the energy drink this is the blazer i picked up from zara which i showed you yesterday i absolutely love it this is the extra large but i don't think it looks too large and i like the fit then i just wore it with some casual white shorts and minucci loafers which I'm actually getting so much wear out of. I never knew I needed a white loafer in my life. So that was a great Bista Village find. And originally I wanted the black, but I feel like I wouldn't have worn the black as much, especially because I already have my Prada ones. I basically want to start buying, <laughs> buying stuff, shock. I want to start buying like a little something from each place I visit as like a memory because I am so privileged, like beyond privileged to travel all these countries and growing up I never travelled. I think I went away with my mum once and obviously as I got older I would travel with friends but I didn't grow up travelling the world and I feel like the universe is really paying me back now as an adult. And you know how a lot of people collect like fridge magnets? <laughs> I have it in my mind, I kind of want to collect a Vogue magazine at the airport from each place I visit. Not that I've done that yet, but I just feel like that would be such a nice little memory. I mean, I'd probably forget to do it, and obviously I've travelled to so many countries this year and I've not bought one. But from this point on, I would like to start doing that. But for now, I saw this and thought it would be a beautiful gift. So the race day today was actually sponsored by Louis Vuitton and they had a little stand there and they just had like books, notebooks and stuff like that. And I saw this book and I'm obsessed with Slim Arons. I actually want to buy some prints, some Slim Arons prints for my house. So this is, it. they had loads of different countries and loads of different themes anyway i saw this book and i was like i just have to have it it is the most stunning let me find you a good one all right you seeing the vibe i love the vintage feel of it i love the cool girl feel of it what a vibe Anyway, so that's what I bought. I just thought that was a lovely little gift to myself. Let me unpack.
these are the new in Zara earrings. I've got the white t-shirt on and then just my favorite cream trousers and then some gold jewelry. And then I'm gonna use this gold bag. So pretty simple. And perfume, I've actually, I've actually dug this out. I forgot how much I loved it. It's La Perla about that night and it smells divine. But I'm gonna head downstairs, meet the others and then head off to dinner. Oh, look at me go. Look at this gorgeous girl. We've all come matching. We I know, I don't know, you can't, how do I show me? <laughs> I wouldn't want to <laughs> We're very coordinated. We're trying to get the outfit of the night. Yeah, we're looking for, um, Location oh, shoe. Even look where that tree is. It's oh, so it's nice. Yeah, phone. this is cute. Um, outfit of the night, my love. My famous Zara trousers, which I'm in love with. They're so good. The Zara tee, which is good. It's like semi sheer but not sheer. That's great. Right. Mango hills, yeah. very comfortable. And then just gold. It says, oh, how cute my new earrings. Stunning. Oh, These are as well. Yeah, so how cute are they? So nice. Obsessed. And, and do you know what? These trousers with a big chunky knit as well when it's. Yeah. yeah, my only annoying thing is going on the belt. But I don't think it needs a belt. I don't think it does. Yeah. I'm obsessed with them. The length is just insane. It's Stunning. Um, and then these two. Oh! <laughs> oh. Look, do it. Oh. No, you're still there. Oh. 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 Look, we're all. I think. Oh, yeah. Am I doing what I'm wearing? Or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's actually really cute. <laughs> <laughs> these are. I think these are Zara. I think this is They're Jaded. Like are they mango? No, I said they're mega. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're like, are they? This is Zara. This is the top. The really old. It looks like a little dress. Remember. Yeah, stunning. It's come together cute. Yeah, um, gorgeous. Fourth and neck trousers. They're Eight great. Heels. Mhm. Mm uh, dish. I love dish. H&M. Really mango. Gorgeous. And look at us. Just like transition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go get the shop. It's giving editorial. I'm like obsessed. It's because we want to welcome you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much so for coming tonight. Much. We're going to start with this the party, all right? Yeah. All goes downhill from here. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. you. So when you finish, just let me know what do you want to drink. Thank you. Cheers, ladies. Yeah. Cheers. Welcome. I've got shaky hands. <laughs> Can everyone cheer? I feel like I've got a down there. Yeah. Cheers. 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 You're putting him under pressure, he don't know what he wants. Yeah, easy. Four of those. Hi. Please, could we get four of these? Four. Four. And I'm right with my little farm for now. Oh. That was my attempt at doing uh, being a food blogger. Yeah. Short lived career. I was drinking for the drink and the drink. <laughs> she's giving, she's giving. What did you just say? <laughs> We've got a shimmy shimmy. A little shimmy shimmy. Yeah, no, she's a club. Club. Shimmy shimmy. Because we can't shimmy shimmy to bed. Huh? We can't shimmy shimmy to bed. It has to be to the club. No, shimmy shimmy to the club. <laughs> to the club. <laughs> Shimmy shimmy to bed? <laughs> no, we shimmy shimmy to the club and then we shimmy shimmy to the bed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like a two prong situation. That's a right. We've always been like, shimmy shimmy to the club and then we're going to bed. Yeah. Millie, you're coming as well. We are, we're going to go. You can two step. Just a little dog. Oh, yeah.
Um, we was going to stay Here for a party party and we did try but the vibe weren't there. The vibe wasn't there. And we've learned not to chase our night oh, as yeah. we're grown adults now so well done. And we'd rather cup get in bed, bed. another cup of tea. Oh, what's he saying to us? We are, well, me, oh, and the others but obviously just me in my hotel room. <laughs> are back home. I am shattered as you can probably tell from my fucking face i've been up since half two it's currently 12 a.m ow and i'm just so ready for bed us girls were actually saying that like, we should have booked longer like just extended our trip even if it was by like one day but i mean i actually haven't got time to do that because i've got so much to do next week i'm fully booked with shit to do next week so i haven't actually got time um but the fort was lovely and if we weren't going home tomorrow i probably would have stayed out and just sucked it up but no i am cream crackers packing up my last bits as we are checking out this morning short and sweet this trip is i'll show you my outfit of the day in a minute um i would love nothing more than to get breakfast before we leave we are meeting at half 10 it's currently like five to ten so i'm hoping i can just grab something because i am absolutely starving but i had to do some work bits this morning which just absolutely failed so that's good but it's fine but yeah i've just been running around like crazy now i'm just packing up and i run downstairs hopefully get a good cup of tea and then we are having a full day of driving, which could go one or two ways. Who bloody knows? Okay, I've got 9% battery, so this is good. But we have finished breakfast. We are outside waiting for our briefing. <coughs> uh, oh, briefing is starting. Right, we're in our little car. We're going up into the mountain. Praying for my life. Praying for my life. Honestly, we're just gonna. Have you ever driven on this road? No, have you? Yeah, in this field, man. Let's see how we get on. See, my thing is, I'm happy to drive. I just hate driving in cities. My thing is, I'm following another car, so I'm just hoping yeah. I can't fuck up too much. Because actually, yeah, because then you're not like, oh shit, I'm in the wrong lane. Yeah, that's, that's what stresses me I was going to say, that's what I don't know. Like, what lane am I meant to be in? Like, yeah. where am I turning? Whereas yeah. if I'm just following someone, I hope it's going to be all right. Yeah. Um, this is our car for the day. We're in a gorgeous little Cupra. Which one is it? I don't know. Well, <laughs> there's two types. Um, we wanted the big boy. I know, but... we missed out on the... But I think we're boy. testing but that. This is after. cute. She's cute. Yeah, they That's looked at us and comfy. thought they're cute girls, so they're getting Get the... them in there. Yeah, so we need to think of a playlist. Absolutely, yeah. Because I get in the zone when I've got a good playlist mm. on, you know. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this show. It's nobody wants this playlist, and it's oh, it's good vibes, isn't it? You mean come? We're trying to figure Go. out. Are you gonna drive? Oh. No. <laughs> so we're at the front following oh my god it's like fully electric <laughs> <laughs> right, my yes please so we're following imagine if i just run <laughs> <laughs> great start the trip <laughs> so this is the car we're following we're going up into the mountains we also obviously have it on sat nav but no don't oh. stop to me oh, uh, truck. Um, found. but your mirror's all right you check your mirrors no <laughs> Nervous. Yep, all good. All good. Two hands on the wheel. What was it? Five to two. No. Five to two. Do I go? Ten to two. That's it. Do I go? Bless our little man. So we're following this car. Oh, oh, and we've got, we've got the walkie-talkie. Walkie. But we're not allowed to talk. Sorry, um, <laughs> random question. How do you start the car? How do you start the car? Is he actually? Oh, I'm dead. Uh, Press okay, start and go. Um, right, let's turn you down because you're very loud. So this is Alex who's back talking back who went out back last back. night. And what time did he get in? Have they put in drive? Also, how is he being allowed to drive? <laughs> we had to do a breathalyzer, by the way. Yeah. In order to drive, obviously. I'm yeah. zero. We were both zero. How do you start the car? How do you start the car? Great start. <laughs> to see 
see her live. I know. <laughs> Driving done. We survived. I think we were really good. We're actually not blowing our trumpet, but we're actually very good drivers. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get bombs. We got, we got there in one piece. At the start, we were like, oh no, we don't want to be at the front. But then actually, it was the best thing. That was the best thing. Yeah. We just followed the guide, and everyone else got lost. Everyone, uh, are you okay? <coughs> Every, are you good? Yeah. Wrong <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and now we're celebrating with some sangria. I can be thinking about driving. It is oh, yeah. done. No more driving. Um, also, can we just mention the fact that Annalise, do you want to tell the vlog what happened? Oh, no, I don't want to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> so we may have gone a little bit lost, a little bit deviated. There was a turning. No, Beyonce no, we're not talking playing. about that. Oh, what were we talking about this morning? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that, oh we definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're all here in one piece, so. <laughs> I'm so mad.